So today's mistake is a big one. Without this one thing, your photo session will be a complete waste. I'm Amber with Amber Andrews Photography. I'm a personal brand photographer in West Michigan. So this is video number two in a series on mistakes entrepreneurs make when hiring personal brand photographers. If you missed last week's video, I'll have a link below so that you can check it out and see what mistake number one is. Um, quick rundown of it is that mistake number one is hiring a traditional photographer in front of someone who specializes in personal brand photography. Because a traditional photographer won't understand how to translate your brand into photos that help you connect with your audience and grow your business. All right, today's mistake is related. Today's mistake is not asking if a commercial use license is included. Now, most traditional photographers do not allow you to use the photos that they take commercially. This means that you cannot use them to grow your business in any way. If you want to use these photos in your business, you must have a commercial use license. And you should expect to pay more for a commercial use license than you would for photos that you're using for personal use, since you'll be using these photos to grow your business and to make money. Now, traditionally, commercial use license varied in price based on a whole lot of complicated numbers. All right, it's a complicated mess and it's a pain to track and deal with. And that is why working with a modern personal brand photographer is ideal. Personal brand photography is a relatively new niche in the photography industry and it gives you the commercial use licenses that you need, but at one easy price. No complicated tracking, no difficult pricing. It's just one price, almost unlimited commercial usage. Because if you have a post go viral, the last thing you want to do is to get a huge licensing bill from your photographer, or worse, have to pull the post down because you didn't have a commercial use license in the first place. So pro tip number two, guys. Ask for details about their commercial use license and contract before you make a decision on hiring them. Many photographers treat their business like a hobby and not like an actual business. If they don't have a contract or usage license or things get a bit awkward when you ask about it, they likely won't understand your mindset as an entrepreneur. And if they don't take their own business seriously, how can you expect them to take your business seriously as an entrepreneur? All right, if you have any more questions, make sure to send me a message and I will be happy to answer any questions that you have. I hope you have a great week and stay tuned next week for my next post on mistake number three. Um, a little bit of a sneak peek into it. It's not just the commercial uses that you need to worry about. There is another limitation that you would have if you hire a traditional photographer rather than a personal brand photographer. All right, and guys, check out my Instagram link below so we can hang out on Instagram together. See you later. Bye.